Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be looking at Grove Token. This goes by GVR. It's on the Ethereum network as well as the Binance Smart Chain. Remember anything I say in this video is not financial or investment advice and you should do your own research and this should not influence you whether to buy or sell this token. So this is Grove Token. I'm on grovetoken.com. I'll link it in the description so that you can have a look as well. Grove Token, Green Crypto, for a healthier and wealthier future. Scrolling down, they show their roadmap. I personally think it's so cool how they've got um, the little like tree sprouting, I guess. Like the little sprouting um, seedling. I think, yeah, it is a tree, isn't it? Yeah. And I think that's so cute on the website and it looks so nice. So it shows whereabouts they're up on their roadmap. They've got ticks, so they ain't done green energy contribution yet, but they've done all these other ones. They haven't done service app or solar panels, residential, commercial and agricultural. But they'll be doing Grove Keeper Wallet as well as major exchange listing, launch event, Grove Credit Cards, Grove Coin, Metaverse, Green Oasis launch, Green Energy, major retail partnerships, and that's what they'll be looking to do. They also have their Meet the Team, which is where it tells you kind of a bit about the team and who's made the token. How it works. Passive income. 3% of every transaction is redistributed to our holders. So it has 3% reflections. Anti-whale system. So you cannot hold any more than 500 trillion Grove and you cannot sell more than 10 trillion at a time. And you can only sell once every six hours. If there was to be a massive decline as such in the price and you wanted to sell out, I guess that could be a bad thing. Um, it's a good thing because then people aren't going to eat up the supply. But it could be a bad thing if you want to sell out and you can only do it every six hours. So it could be quite a bad thing at the same time. Buyback wallet. So 1% of every transaction will be sent to a buyback wallet. I'm not sure if that's buy back and burn or just buying back. Auto liquidity, 1% of every transaction will be added to liquidity automatically to facilitate trade on PancakeSwap, which is always good to see that as well. 2% will be burned. That is good. It's always good to see that things will get burned since it increases. If there's a high demand, then it increases the value potentially. 3% of trans every transaction will be reinvested into the natural world, marketing and create, uh, increasing the team of professionals delivering growth and tokens to sustainability. That's good to see as well, but people will be, it will go back towards marketing as marketing's crucial. They have a play to earn game, a staking pool and a grove keeper, which is the first green wallet. Tokenomics, 2% burn, 3% marketing, 3% reflections, 1% liquidity, 1% buyback. And in total, that's a 10% tax when you buy and sell, I think. Well, when you buy, it's a 5% tax, which is 1% buyback, 1% marketing, 2% reflections, and 1% liquidity. So this is for when you sell. Oh, it does say on sell. I like, completely misread that part. How to invest, it tells you on their YouTube channel where to invest and this is where they all are i'm pretty i'm pretty sure grove keeper is their wallet which is kind of just like i guess a normal crypto wallet and then they have their partners as well and here's an faq too as well as a contact us form and then quick links at the bottom on their twitter they have 68.9 thousand followers and they do get quite a lot of engagement on their posts they post a lot more from their creator um, and retweet that um, a lot of them are by John G which was one of the creators I'm pretty sure on coin market cap their market cap is 1,920,000 and their fully diluted market cap is $77,169,000 which is very high and that is the fully diluted market cap, uh, market cap is if all tokens were in circulation I keep getting a tongue twister today it's like everything I'm struggling to say Volume in the last 24 hours is 3,489,000, which is extremely high, and it's always good to see. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. Also, remember you can comment down below any other coins, projects, tokens, anything crypto related you'd like me to do a video on, and I'll do them for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.